Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Renault, and I'm an optometrist at Eagle Eye Performance Vision. And I want to talk about myopia control. And what, what is myopia? Myopia is being nearsighted, which being nearsighted, that is something that's going up. The levels of myopia, they're over 40% now, and that used to be about 100 years ago, it was 14%. So the level of kids in school nowadays who need glasses to see far away is going up rapidly um, and there's there's no no sign of stopping right now the cdc actually considers this at epidemic levels and so why why is everyone becoming nearsighted in schools why is that happening well we spend all of our day looking up close when we're reading and writing and looking at screens and our eyes are really designed to see out far away that's where we see perfectly uh, clear with with relaxed vision there's no work or effort into seeing out far away um, up close is where eyes have to work very hard. So um, as, as we spend so much more time nowadays where everyone is in school, they have to spend so many hours a day looking up close. And the natural reaction to that is if I'm going to work so hard to make this vision clear, well, I'm just going to forget clearing the distance vision and focus only up close. So they're, they're, these, these uh, children are, are often very good at reading. They read a lot. They spend a lot of time up close and eventually just forget the distance vision. So, and I wanna show you what myopia looks like if someone is nearsighted. You know, here's your, here's your eyeball. And when light enters the eye, it all travels into one specific spot in the back of your eyes for your central vision. And then we have peripheral vision all around it, but it needs to be hitting right here perfectly on the retina to be nice and clear. But the problem is when someone becomes nearsighted, they're actually, this light is centering a little bit in front of the retina. So then now it's not clear. That's why we see, we see blurry vision and uh, a, a parent sends their kid for an eye exam and it turns out they need some glasses to see better far away. So those glasses, all they do is get that light to come together right at that perfect point on the retina. Well, then a year goes by and that child's starting to see blurry again. They have a hard time seeing the board in school. So the problem is their eye is actually not the exact same shape as it was before. Their eye is actually stretched and gotten longer. So what now? Now we just need a new pair of glasses to see out further again. Well, this is a vicious cycle because guess what happens again next year? Next year, that eyeball is even longer. So we need a new pair of glasses to see out all the way, to get that light all the way to the retina. So, you know, what's the problem of getting new glasses stronger and stronger every year is once you reach a certain point of myopia, a certain level where it's become high enough that the, that, that eye has stretched so far that there actually are, um, your, your risk of different eye diseases that can, ca can cause permanent vision loss go way up. For example, once you become six units of, of myopia, your risk for retinal detachment goes up by 29 times. Uh, your risk for glaucoma goes up significantly. Your risk for macular pathology and your central vision goes up uh, quite a bit. So as, as, these, as this eye stretches out, there's a lot of stress on that stretching and tugging where it can cause a lot of structural damage to the eye later on in adulthood. So that it seems like that kid who's in school getting new glasses every year because their prescription's getting stronger, just give them new glasses. Well, we're setting them up for, uh, for being much more likely to have ocular disease when they're adults. Um, the other problem is once you reach a certain, when, when you become more and more nearsighted, now you become reliant on those lenses. You know, I can't get around without my contacts or my glasses. Uh, if, I, if I lose my glasses or break them or I can't find them, I can't even drive because I'm, I'm legally blind without them. So that's a big problem too. I, I don't want my patients to be reliant on their lenses. It's okay to have lenses to make things sharper and clearer, but you shouldn't be disabled without your glasses. So here at Eagle Eye Performance Vision, one of the services we offer is myopia control. So that is, instead of getting that new pair of glasses that gets stronger and stronger and stronger and lets that eye stretch out every year, that's kind of putting a Band-Aid on, on the problem and not treating anything. What we do actually is clear the distance vision just enough, 
but also give a relaxing lens up close so that, that eyes, those eyes are not doing so much work together. Now they, they can see clearly and then they're seeing up close when they're reading without working so hard. We also talk about visual hygiene, taking breaks, um, some different activities that, that can help try to slow down the progression of, of myopia and even sometimes actually reverse myopia. So I've experienced working with some kids who they came to me nearsighted and by the time we finished, now they don't need glasses at all anymore. That's the best case scenario. Or myself, this is really near, near and dear to myself, to my heart, because uh, back when I was in ninth grade, I was this kid, I was getting more and more nearsighted every year that I, both my eyes were stretching out. Well, my optometrist, he decided to um, initiate myopia control with me and, and was able to stop my prescription right at, I'm about minus two, so I'm a long way away from that dangerous level of minus six, which I could have, I could have easily reached that point if my optometrist didn't do that for me. So, you know, when I take my contacts out, um, I, I don't see perfectly, but I'm much, much more functional than maybe I could have been if I didn't start this kind of, this kind of treatment when I did. So I'm very grateful for that, and I, I want to try to pay, pay it forward and help out some kids around here. Uh, this is this is a great treatment plan that's really growing because it's such a need here in America where there are so you know every kid's in school so many kids are reading and spending hours and hours looking at screens computers books reading's not going anywhere and that's a good thing you know we should we should all be literate and and have great reading scores but not at the cost of losing our vision now and in the future down the line with with glasses and then ocular disease. So um, if you know a child or who has, who has glasses or you have a child or you know someone who they just got their first glasses, uh, maybe they, they've got new glasses every year, they're having trouble seeing the board in school or, or uh, seeing the ball in sports, this would be a great, great opportunity to give us a call and talk about that child and see if this would be a program that, they would, be, that would benefit them. Um, we'd, love to get, we'd love to chat with you guys. So go ahead and give our, give our office a call and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.